Okay, uh, this next video hopefully will not be too long again. Um, this is, let's go to our corporate models. This is at bodmer.com if you want to find these. And we're going to look at the uh, corporate model first solar. Now this, in this model, uh, it's a little bit, um, <coughs> excuse me, uh, I'm still at the hospital. The, uh, the, um, this model has a little more details on developing the assumptions. So we can't, in the real world, you can't just develop the assumptions on the, 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 the uh, simply on the uh, uh, history. I think you need to get some, I mean, from the financial statements, you really need to have some sort of outlook on what's happening in the industry. Now, in the solar business, uh, here, here's our kind of base case, which I think this is about what the valuation is as of end of uh, 2014. Downside case, we have a lot lower valuations. Upside case, higher valuations. But it's really, I hope, oh, no, is this, this should have been uh, changing. Well, okay, that's the idea, is that these are the key real drivers of the whole model, almost anything else doesn't really matter very much, okay, and then, oh, God, people are calling, you know, the clients, oh, no, and then I'm gonna, it's probably gonna come on Skype, not the, the see, and then I'm, I'm gonna, the, the uh, so he, here's what we put in the, in the master scenario, it looks a little more complicated, because we can start with the industry demand and then go from industry demand to the capacity and try to evaluate what's the effect of surplus capacity or more important just simply competition in the industry what's which has really happened what's happened is the price of the equipment went so down so again we have the timelines i even showed you this on the last one we have we start with some historic data but really, the time series assumption, we need to be a whole lot more careful with what could happen to the prices, what happens, and how if you make some capital expenditures, you're going to increase the capacity of the company. And if you increase the capacity of the company, <coughs> you can see what your capitalization, your utilization is. And then you really have to have some kind of outlook on the operation and maintenance expense. So. I got another call, and I'm not stopping this one, and because, and then we put some, uh, and then we put some more, uh, allow calls when I'm making a video, that's crazy. Okay, and then uh, uh, this, but there's a whole lot of backup on uh, uh, what's happening to the industry, and how you've developed all of these. I think it's a good idea just to throw these kind of things into the model, okay, how much you produced and what other companies are doing and get some kind of industry outlook. So that wasn't very good, but it shows you it's just taking that last model and then being a whole lot more careful with a few of the, uh, with a few of the operating assumptions. And I think I'm going to stop the video right now, okay.